So let's have a look at le passé composé, which is a past tense in French. It's one of the main past tenses to use, and in English it might translate to I went, or could have the word I have in it as well, and in the case of I have been, I ate, or I have eaten. So le passé composé would mean both of those things. Okay, so how do we form it then? So we need three parts to it. We need the pronoun, je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, elle. Um, and then we need one of the auxiliary verbs, and there are two. Avoir is the main one, or être, which is used sometimes, and then a past participle. So for example, nous avons mangé une pomme, we have eaten an apple, or we ate an apple. Okay, so we have the pronoun here, the auxiliary avoir, and then a past participle, manger. Another one here. Elle est restée chez elle. She has stayed at home, or she stayed at home. We have our pronoun here, our être this time, and our past participle. Okay? Now, past participles, whether you use avoir or être, are used in exactly the same way, or formed in exactly the same way. So, what we do is we take the infinitive, which in English is the to something, the word you'd find in the dictionary, so to eat, to do, to play. And in French, they all end in er, ir, or re. So we remove uh, all of these endings, and if it's um, an er verb, we put a, so manger here, would still be pronounced manger, but you take the er off as an e accent. Okay, be careful how you pronounce this because without the at the accent on it, it would just be mange. So manger. Next one. An ir verb it would be e on the end. E.g., finir would become fini. So fin it to finish become finished. And re you take the re off and add u. So e.g., vendre to sell becomes a vendu. Right. So in English, we would translate these two, these past participles as um, eaten, finished, sold. But they may have slightly different meanings if you don't put the have in in English. We'll have a look at those examples in a minute. So now we need to have a look at the auxiliary verbs. <clears throat> do we use avoir or do we use être? Okay. So just before we do that, let's have a look at some irregular past participles. So we've looked at the past participles and how the regular ones uh, form. So ER changes to E, IR changes to I, RE changes to U. There's some that don't follow the rules. This is a list of some of them, but it's not an exhaustive list. So let's have a little look. So avoir, to have, goes to U, had. Boire goes to bu. Dire goes to di. Écrire goes to écrit. Être goes to été. Faire goes to fait. Lire goes to lu. Mettre goes to mis. Mourir goes to mort. Naître goes to né. Ouvrir goes to ouvert. Pouvoir goes to pu. Prendre goes to prix. It might be worth noting at this point that if you have any composite verbs, so if you have, for example, comprendre has the word prendre in it, it still forms in the same way as this irregular bit here. So compris, can you see that you've got prix here as you would do for prendre here? Okay, and that goes with any of these verbs that are irregular. Recevoir goes to reçu. Savoir goes to su. Venir goes to venu. Voir goes to vu. Okay, so when we use avoir, which is the main verb that we use for the passive composé, most verbs take them. So we use the pronoun je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous, il, elle, etc. The right part of avoir that goes with it, plus the past participle. So do you remember how avoir goes in the present tense? Right, let's have a little look. So it goes, j'ai, tu as, il, elle, on a, nous avons, vous avez, il, elle, on. So I, you, he, she, it, we, you, plural, and they. 
Okay, so we need all those bits first if we're going to use um, avoirs and auxiliary, and then we just add a pass, uh, pass participle on the end of it. So we take the correct part of avoirs we just looked at, and then we put the pass participle. So I have eaten or I ate would become j'ai mangé. So we've got j'ai, the pronoun je would become j'ai. It has an apostrophe here because of the two vowels together. So that's the I form with avoir. And then we use the past participle of manger, which becomes manger. Or we have played, or we played. And this one takes avoir as well, obviously. So we've got the nous avons joué. Nous avons is the we form of avoir. And then joué is the past participle of joué. Okay, so let's have a little practice. You have a little go. Rewind it back if you need to just refresh your memory. Um, Otherwise, pause it after you've seen the 10 and then have a go on your own. Some of these are irregular past participles, so you need to have a look back at that. Okay, so pause it now, have a go, and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, the answers. So the first one, j'ai vu. Nous avons mangé. Elle a joué. You notice that the first three here we've got the word have or has. The second one doesn't have that in there, but it's still with the passé composé. We danced. Nous avons dansé. They shouted. Ils ou elles ont crié. I drank. J'ai bu. He wrote. Il a écrit. You did singular. Tu as fait. I have made. J'ai fait. We have organized. Nous avons organisé. Notice that we've got the avoir, the right part of avoir, and then the past, the past participle on the end. So the three bits that we need. Pronoun, avoir, and the past, uh, the past participle. Okay. Let's move on. Right, so we said that most of them use avoir, um, plus the past participle, but there are a few verbs which use être instead of avoir in the middle there. Now, être we know means to be, but in this tense we wouldn't translate it as that. So let's have a look at some examples. So we take the correct part of être. So the verb être, can you remember how it goes? Let's have a look. So je suis is the I form. Tu es, the U singular form. Il, elle, on, est, he, she, it, is. In this case, we might use it as has. Nous sommes, the we form. Vous êtes, the U plural form. And then il and elle sont, the they form. Okay, so we use all of those bits and then we add a past participle as we did with the avoir verb. So if we remember the ER verbs, to the E, um, Take the ER off, add E accent, so ali would be changed to ali, went. IR verbs, sortir, take the IR off, add I, sorti. And our E verbs, e.g. vendre, becomes vendu. However, with être verbs, you need to make sure that it agrees with um, the pronoun at the beginning of the sentence. Um, so if it's feminine or plural, we need to add extra E's or S's. So let's have a look at some examples of that. This you don't need to do with avoir, so you just need to remember to do this with extra verbs. Right, so the which ones use extra? So we have monter, tomber, retourner, rester, venir, aller, arriver, mourir, naître, partir, Sortir, entrer, descendre. Okay. So if you have a look at the coloured letters I've put on the left hand side of each of the verbs, um, it spells out Mr. Van Strand. So that's a mnemonic you can use to remember all the verbs that take être. So it's only these verbs and also reflexive verbs. But have a look at the reflexive verbs video as a separate, a separate bit. But all reflexive verbs in the past tense, in the passé composé, take um, take être. Any other verbs, don't take être, you just use avoir. Okay, some examples then. 
as I said before, we add extra E's and S's for just these extra verbs. So let's have a look. I went. So if you were a girl, for example, you'd say je suis allé and you'd add an extra E on the end of allé. If you're a boy, you don't need to add that. Okay. And that would be whether any verb that takes that to us. If you would say, I went out, je suis sorti, I on the end if you're a boy, and extra E on the end if you're a girl. Elle est tombée, this is obvious here. She fell, or she has fallen. Because it's a girl, we know it's a girl, we add an extra E on the end of the past participle. Ils sont arrivés. This time we know it's masculine, plural. Um, so we don't need to add an extra E, but we do need to add an S on the end because it's plural. Okay? If you remember, this is just with extra verbs, not with avoir verbs. Elles sont restées. So this one is an example of where we've got it as a plural. Elle, they, in the feminine form. And we, it's plural and with an E on the end. So they stayed. An extra E and S because it's feminine. So, if you want to have a look at one use of this with the direct object pronouns, you might need to have a look at that video separately. Okay, so let's have a look at some practice. Tend to do, remember these ones take être only, not avoir. Remember to agree the ending of the past participles as well. So pause it here, have a go. We won't back if you want to have a look at some of the, uh, the, the um, examples. And then we'll go through the answers. Okay, so the first one. First one. Il est allé. No, we don't need to add an extra E on the end here because it's a boy. We arrived. Nous sommes arrivés. Now this one's an odd one in that if, if the new, if the we is just girls, then we'd add an extra E. But if it isn't, if it's a mix or it's just uh, boys, then we just put an S on the end. She has left. This is more obvious because it's a girl. Elle est partie. Partie. I on the end, extra E, because she's a girl. This one, same as number two, nous sommes sortis. Again, A, E on there are just girls, or an S on the end if it's uh, mixed, or boys. They have returned. Ils ou elles sont retournés. Um, if you're using the L form, obviously add an E on the end, but both of the forms need an S on the end. Je suis né. Again, if you're a girl, you put an extra E on the end. If you're a boy, you don't need to. Il est resté. Obvious one, don't need an extra on the end here because it's a boy. Tu es entré. Again, you need an E on the end of this. And there's a spelling mistake there. Should have, shouldn't have a T there. Um, and then extra E on the end. Change that in a minute. Number nine, je suis monté. Again, if you're a girl, you add an extra E on the end. Number ten, nous sommes descendus. Extra E if it's girls, but definitely an S for both otherwise. Okay. Let me just come out of this and change this because there's a mistake there. Tu es. Okay, so we have all our answers there. Okay, so this is mastery test. Mixed, do you, is it with avoir or être? So it's tend to do for this. Remember to agree if it's with être. Again, pause it so you can have a little look at it and have a go at the answers. At, and then go through the answers in a minute. Okay, let's go through the answers then. The first one, il ou elle en joué, takes avoir, joué. Went. Ali takes être, doesn't need an extra E on the end of this because it's not a girl, but it does take être. To be born, another être verb, does need an extra E on the, on the end here because it's a girl. We saw, nous avons vu, voir takes avoir. They have read, ils ou elles ont lu, again, an avoir verb. I came, je suis venu. Extra on the end if it's a girl talking, otherwise don't need it, but it's an extra verb. You singular wrote, tu as écrit, avoir verb here. They went, I went out with friends, je suis sorti, again if you're a girl, you had an E on the end, avec des amis. This one, visiter, an avoir verb, ils ont visité, could be elles ont visité as well. Okay, and this last one, a mixed, 
Nous sommes restés en France, restés, etc. Et il y en a 